is it is it correct to suggest that uh, General Vines or General Casey or General Evazade have ever asked for more troops and been turned down? That is flat not true. You know, what has been happening as we debate the number of troops, as we debate whether to withdraw, is also this continual debate over the intelligence. Uh, leading up to the war. And I know you've said you believe that it's wrong to question the motives or the honesty of administration officials, but I have a different question for you. If you had known that no weapons of mass destruction would be found, would you have advocated invasion? I didn't advocate invasion. You didn't? No, I wasn't asked. If you read all the books and the things... You weren't, but why weren't you asked? That's very puzzling. Well, I'm sure the president understood what my views were, but, but as a technical matter, did he ever look and say... What should we do? Should we go do this or not do that? This is something that the president thought through very carefully. Are you trying to distance yourself from the war not. with that? Of course not. I agreed completely with the decision to go to war. And I said that a hundred times. And don't, don't even suggest that. I'm just asking. Yeah, well, you know better. Uh, look, the interesting thing to me about the pre-war intelligence is clearly it was wrong. It was wrong, but everyone saw the same thing in the executive branch, in the legislative branch, in the other countries that was presented at the UN. But uh, would you have been for an invasion if we had known that? If I, the answer is uh, probably yes. There have been two realities here. There's been the rhetorical reality of the Bush administration, which is you know the the imperial strategy that George was talking about but the military reality has been entirely different this war has been an orphan since the day after we arrived in Baghdad it hasn't been fought by the uh, by by the civilian leadership of the Pentagon, you know, the, uh, Secretary Rumsfeld has been far he more wasn't distancing himself. Yeah, right. One of the most hallucinatory moments of your interview with Rumsfeld was was when he was talking about the hundreds of thousands of troops, uh, you know, Iraqi troops around. Two hundred twelve thousand. I mean. So. We have a situation, the Ministry of Defense in Iraq, where they can't support the troops at all. But the problem is it's not a PR problem, George, which is there's a real substantive policy issue. Who is running the Iraq war? Who is? It's not clear, right? I mean, Rumsfeld was a part of the plant on the show. He says That's he has right. nothing to do with troop levels. He, he didn't actually advocate the invasion. He doesn't have anything to do with the negotiations about the torture uh, bill. He's, so he's not doing it. So the Secretary you know, of State Bondi Rice president, is out. You know. The President even this week said, so long as I am Commander-in-Chief, our strategy in Iraq will be driven by the sober judgment of our military commanders on the ground. The military is supposed to be run by civilians. They execute <laughs> policy.